been buzzing all day, and it's time to finally see what's up. The Avalanche have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Keeps possession. Champion's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. The Ducks take possession here and scores! Popping bottles for a selling. What a shot. That's just adding insult to injury, isn't it? James, a top cheddar shot that just sends the water bottle assailing. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. To a blazing start here as they strike quickly. James, that goal came so quickly. I wasn't even expecting that. It just looked like their opponent was stunned, not ready for the urgency and the style of which they're playing. McKinnon's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Jones. He's got a breakaway. Big time save. He was dialed in there. Well, he has the benefit of seeing it coming here, James, so he gets himself set to position he anticipates. I think he has a book on the shooter to be truthful, and he makes a save. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. Oh, you could feel that from up here. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message. The captain delivers. Well, that goal just ignites a fire down the entire bench, and, and sometimes it's about the drive and the energy within a shift that can just change the course of an entire game. There's so many ebbs and flows, momentum shifts. This one is one of them. Win possession here in the open ice. Quick shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Michael's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. The Avs win the defensive zone faceoff. Along the wing of the neutral zone. Slides the puck across to tip it. The Ducks carry it along the wall. And that's broken up. Take it along the wall by McCarr. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Loses his balance on the play. Slides it over with pace to tip it. Intercepts it up center. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Anaheim skiing position. Muffles that one. Well, he muffles Punch it. in the net, but the whistle sounds. 
blowing the play dead. The Ducks are getting penalized for slashing. continue to be shorthanded here. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Just slide to the net. Off the mask of the goaltender. Boy, right between the eyes. Now well, he was dialed in to make the save with his mask, James, but I don't know how dialed in he's going to be now. He might be a little fuzzy. And a great save. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. It's really turned out the Avs scoop it up along the boards. Landis comes into the offensive zone now on the attack. Handles the puck. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Feeds it up ahead. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. Angles it over to McKinnon. Makes a save. Chris is going to hang on for a whistle and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of their mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that and makes a nice cover. And the puck departs the zone. Colorado's man advantage expires. They are still down a goal. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. The Ducks will play it in their own end. And the puck's kicked free. Oh, he hammered him. Uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. Delayed penalty looming. Colton's gained the line and on the attack. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what, it's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead, now they're protecting it. ranked toward the bottom of the league, but what they displayed so far tonight, killing off that first penalty, and hopefully they can capitalize on some more of that opportunity here. Here he is, shot right in front. Too many bodies in the way. The Avalanche have it now. They score! And putting it home on the power play, and we have even things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, there just was a confidence about them, the way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. Past the 
midway mark of the frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Ducks win the draw. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And he slides it quickly to Wood. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. And it's a quick pass to Tippett. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Slides the puck to Wood. And now he moves it to Lekanen. Poked away in the defensive end. Denies him in front. Silverberg's lugging the puck. Gains the zone through center. Picked off by Lekanen. Across the line and on the attack. Great reach with the puck Bring check. Up, the up. Ducks gain possession along the wall. Up, Keeps possession on the play. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Powers got it in the defensive end. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Battle ensues for that loose puck around the boards. Middlestat's got the puck in his own zone. The Ducks have it from their own end. Sends it across the ice. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck across to Drouin. Trying to get back on the attack now. Here they come on the attack. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Fires it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Brandstrom's moving pretty slowly out there. Really looks shaken up. Has set of ice now. He grabs the puck. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stands up. Break away. And it's broken up with a great defensive effort there. Well, that's what you call backtracking with a purpose, James. He thought that he was alone and in the clear, and the opportunity gets taken away. Landeskog's taking it from his own end. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Brandstrom's trying to find a way to get back to the bench and not put his team in a vulnerable spot. You can see that he's been injured somewhere on the shift. He's laboring and he's wincing, but he's committed to the play. He's got to find the appropriate moment to get off. The centermen glide into position. The Ducks start with the puck in the road end. Here he is, Tristan on net. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Colorado's got in front by a goal here in the first. Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go-ahead goal, but they gotta find a way to continue to attack. You gotta play with killer instinct, especially when there's so much time left. First 20 minutes of play is in the box. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Colorado's playing with an attack mentality, James. Every time they're in the offensive zone, they're looking to take it to the net. You put bucks on net, you're going to score goals. Johns has it now. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. Makes a save. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Back to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. 
That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because he gets off his stick so fast. James be able to get the equalizer. You can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Johns plays it against the boards. Smart heads up, play to neutralize the threat. Colorado's on the attack. Excellent stick work on the play. On in the net. What a chance! Well, you can work all game to get this look, James. So when you get that opportunity, you at the very least have to hit the net. He misses wide, and he cannot believe it. We got a whistle offside the call. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. The Avs take over on possession. Moves it to Manson. The Avs take it across the blue line. The Ducks have it now. Can't maintain possession. Handles the pass at center. Knocked around, but keeps it going. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Knocked away by Niskanen. And he can't hang on after that hit. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. Anaheim's got it, and they're on the attack. Ozone faceoff, James. Critical time to gain possession with that clean win, and with a tired group, they get that puck moving around and a real opportunity on net. Here's a pass down low. And now he moves it quickly to Gerard. Here's a shot! Big save! We see goaltenders working on reaction time all the time. Why? For shots like this, you just have to react. It's instincts that make the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Ducks win the draw on their own end. Sends a pass over. The Avs gain control of the puck. Strong defensive effort. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Colorado's won the defensive zone draw. And will that strike? They've got in front. Well, I really like their game tonight. I mean, you always have to manage the ebbs and flows. When you grind away, you continue to trust the process. You get opportunity, and they convert it on it. Let's have another look on the replay here, James. I thought that he had the post cover, but he clearly did not. There was just enough room to slide that puck in the inside post. Anaheim's taking a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. McKinnon's won the draw inside the neutral zone. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Zone. Sends it over. <laughs> Takes the feed. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Pokes it away in his own end. The Avs look to start the transition game. Colorado's on the attack. Here's a pass to the middle. Picked off in front. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Johns always shows good instincts. Oh, 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 save! Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort. 
effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. And that shot dies in traffic. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Richards. All alone! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. To his teammate! And that goes on the player in front. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. And he stops that cannon there. Wow! Well, another sound here inside the arena tonight. The show, I got a question for you. You know who likes the winner? Everyone likes the winner. If you have that tagline, no problem. And this entire building loves a winner, and that's why they're here. They've been following their team who's been doing so many things well, in particular their energy and dictating the pace right from the get-go. You can feel it. It's electric and passionate in here. Big time stop there. Quick feed to Gerard. Oh, he came to bring the physicality tonight. We got a penalty coming up here. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Cheryl, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, and they got to be expecting to get one soon here, as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep braiding yourself to the box. Well, I love the sequence that they used earlier on the power play, and they were successful on it, James. They may look to set up low off of one side, look to cycle the puck, but they can also go to low to high very quickly. But the key is that you got to move the coverage so that you can open up your lane, and then you can attack the net. The Ducks have possession shorthanded from the top of the offensive zone here. Denies them on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Oh, here we go. This three score. And we are tied after that power play marker. Well, this is absolutely huge, James. Power plays are supposed to give you momentum, and you certainly get it when you get the equalizer. Well, this power play will show up in the video room tomorrow. There's no question about that because it had it all. Puck movement, motion, and urgency on retrieval, which I think is absolutely critical. Yes, got to start with the puck. You want to find a way to get the shot to the net, and it winds up in the back of it. Well past the midway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Anaheim's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Handles the pass. Here's a shot denied with the glove by Georgiev. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Nice job tying up his opponent. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Oh, he blocked him! Oh, that 
That's got to feel terrible, James. I mean, he finished his hit right through his check. Shuts him down. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Sensational stop with the stick by the As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Let's have another look at that hit there, James. I mean, he looks shaken up. Late goings of this period. One goal game here. Five fours where we sit. Anaheim's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Georgiev's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Anaheim's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here in this middle frame. Takes the feed. to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly to Johns. Big stop just as time expires in the period. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Puck is dropped on the third and if you love offense, well, stick around for this one. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Anaheim's ahead in this high-scoring affair, but it is action-packed. One team scores and the other team says, yeah, no, it's my turn now. I mean, the counter-attack has been unbelievable. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Anaheim's leading by one. They're up 5-4. Takes that pass back at the point. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Landis Gums moving the puck through his own zone. And he passes it up ahead to Rantanen. A little crash and Bailey forces the turnover. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. The Avs are trying to claw their way back into this game, and that's not how you do it. When you have an opportunity to execute, you have to find the back of the net. Look out, here they come on the attack. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Bolton recovers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Anaheim's got the lead early in this third period. They have been a high-volume shooting squad tonight. Richards wins the faceoff at his own end. Scrum ensues along the boards. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Slides it across to Tippett. Fires it! Comes up with the stop. And he takes the feed. Takes the puck. Here's a feed in front! Can't connect the play. Sends it quickly to Nitruskin. He's got a step. Broken up with the back check. I think he thought he had it, James. He thought he was going to put it in, and then out of nowhere, the defender comes, shows the speed, and the relentless attack on that puck. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get lambasted over and over again. Takes a shot. made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. And it's kicked away. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by foot. Huge steal in his own end. Slides the puck over. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. 
the puck in the slot. Oh, a clutch save! Georgiev dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Great use of the stick at center by Manson. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the puck ahead to Nash. Cuts to the paint. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Georgiev. Continue to lead in the third. McKinnon's won the faceoff. Colorado's got it in the end zone. Anaheim's got the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. Looks to get the puck over to Enron. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Across the line, down the left wall. Picked up along the board. McKinnon. Sends it to the middle. And he comes up with a stop. Slides it diagonally to foot. Broken up with a little physicality. Scooped up along the wall by McCarr. Taken by Landeskog. McKinnon's got the puck now in his own end. The Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Great stick work with the steal. Dumps it in. Anaheim's got the puck. And the puck's booted away. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Now a quick... They've got an on man rush! Shot! They score! Oh my goodness! This will be on the highlight reels everywhere! Well, these are the types of plays in a game that you don't get often, so you have to make good on them, and they do exactly that, James. They utilize the space they're given, they have the numbers, and they make their opponent pay. Colorado's playing the win here now. They have tied it up here in the third. You said it, James. They're not sitting back, they're attacking. And this is urgency that often presents itself late in the game. You wonder why you didn't start that way, but you can certainly finish it. Great reach with the poke check by Darlene. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Georgiev. Utah's up next on the schedule. Tickets still available. Go to the box office, or you can get them online. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. we got a tie game. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. And now it's over to Drouet. The Ducks take it along the wall. Oh, what a great save by Georgiev. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Ducks win the draw. And that's deflected off someone in front. Gains the zone along the right wall. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. Sends the pass over. Strong defensive effort. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. The Ducks get a hold of it. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Shot! Block and side save! And another stop! What a great job of tracking the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. What a steal in his own end. The Ducks played along the wing. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Tries to get it to Enron. And he loses control of the puck. Sends it over. Crisp's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. 
Anaheim's got it in the defensive zone. Right up Main Street and on the attack. And that's not to run in the defensive end by McCall. Directed over to Wood. Nearing the final minute of the third. Jones plays it now. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Here's a shot. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Tries to feed it over to Niskanen. And that slides right out to center ice. And he slides it quickly to Faber. And it's a quick pass to Michael. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Dishes it to Lankanen. With some open space here in the neutral zone. The Ducks have it from their own end. Takes a hit but still hangs on to the puck. Well, there's the horn, and we are still evened up here in this one. That means a little bonus hockey. Overtime is coming up in moments. And they are ready to drop the puck here in OT. It's do or die, and it's hero time. It's overtime. Let's go. And that's a great heads-up play by McKinnon. And he takes the feed. Anaheim's got it now. Looking to end it. And he comes up with a huge save. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Nice dish from the left wing. He's got a chance to win it here. Just stopped and play continues. Oh, he had the game on his stick, James. He wants that opportunity again, but Trying instead... Trying loose. He's clear. Big time save and will play off. Oh, that's enormous, James. He's doing absolutely everything he can to give his team a chance to win. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! And a huge stop by the goaltender.